Hey everyone, Kyle here from Poseidon's Pet. So I had a little bit of a setback in the shrimp room. I lost some of my black advanced Nanashis, which is heartbreaking because that was, that was one of my favorite tanks. So to see some of them go, it was sad to see. I uh, had some alder cones or some almond leaves with the contaminant on them, and it took out a few shrimp in a couple tanks, and that just happened to be one of them. So I did lose a buried female, and I was like, okay, I have to do something. I can't sit here and let these eggs go to waste. I I hate to throw away a buried female. It's 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 tough. So I took some bamboo and a needle and I scraped the eggs away, but then I didn't have an egg tumbler. So this is what I did. I made my own egg tumbler. I made my own egg tumbler. So this video is gonna be about that egg tumbler and how I did it real short, real quick, but let's go check it out. So most of you guys are familiar with these dual sponge filters. You know, they have the little plastic piece here, uplift tube, and some sponge filters. And this whole thing comes apart. So this whole thing is able to be broken down and taken apart. So this was what I had in the shrimp room and I made it work. So check this out, this is really cool. So what I did was I took that dual sponge filter and I attached an uplift tube from a regular sponge filter and some old fishnet. And then I have this attached to a control valve that you can adjust the flow. But I had about 16 eggs in there and I probably have about four or five left. I don't know if you could see them in there down in the corner. But uh, you know, they just kept rotting, kept dying. So this worked to a certain extent. Some of the eggs are still alive and I've got a hat shrimp in there. So there is one little tiny baby in there, which I'm not sure how it's gonna do with the, the tumbling. So we'll have to see. But uh, let's go ahead and turn this guy on and see if you guys can see how it, how it works. we we'll just have it attached to this little line here. And all I want is a little bit of air to get the water flowing. And you'll see some stuff start to float up. See the water floating up. And you'll see those eggs start to tumble. But you can see how that egg's not alive. So it's yellow, it's dead. So those eggs are not alive. And they're lighter than the live eggs. So we're gonna turn it up a little bit more. Those guys will get sucked up to the top. Come on. And you start to see the live eggs down there. So you see the live eggs are jumping a little bit. It's turning up a little bit more. So what I want is, I want quite a bit of flow to get as much water flow as I can without sucking up that little baby that's down there. So now these guys are going to get sucked up. They're going to stick to that mesh up there. If I turned it up a little bit more, we'll see how they do. With them just suspended like this, I noticed I was losing more. So I actually turned it up enough to get them sucked up in there. Sorry for the bad angles. So yeah, now there's enough flow that those guys are getting sucked up against that mesh and that's allowing for a good, good water flow for them. So that's gonna allow for enough flow that those eggs can start to tumble. Like I said, super simple, super easy, and I'm glad I was able to set something up. And if I can get, you know, one or two of these eggs to hatch and live, then, then we're doing good. So I recorded that video earlier today and I wanted to take a closer look. So I was looking at it and what I thought was dead eggs was actually dead baby shrimp. So I had a couple of them hatch and they just didn't make it, whether the flow in there was too high or they just didn't survive. But I turned the flow down so that way the eggs weren't getting sucked up into that net. And I come back from work today and the rest of the eggs have hatched. So let's go look at these guys, see how they're doing and we'll release them into the tank. So that way you guys can, can see the little babies, but it's pretty cool to see that I, I, you know, acted quick and saved these eggs and they hatched. So it's nice to know that you can, you know, save your eggs and save the females, but, but let's go check it out. Can't really get it to focus on the shrimp, 
but you can see there's little guys in there so we got a couple little guys in there I'm gonna go ahead and get them just into a little container so we can inspect them make sure they're all good but it's nice to know that this homemade egg tumbler works just as long as I'm not turning it up too high but let's let's get those babies out of there we're gonna put them in a little deli container and then I'll release them into the tank I'm gonna try to zoom in as best I can here but you can see that little guy right there another little guy right there So that's three. Mm, I'm not seeing any others. So yeah, I got one, two. Three, four. Yeah, so I'm seeing four hatched. And then look at that guy there. So there's uh, two eggs that haven't hatched yet, but look at this. <laughs> he looks like he's ready to go, ready to burst out of there. And then I got one more over here that looks like it still needs a little bit more time. So five shrimplets all together, and looks like a couple eggs that haven't hatched yet. So we're gonna go ahead and grab those eggs, and then we're gonna release the, the little shrimp into the tank which I'll give you a close up of the tumbler itself now that I got these guys out of here. Now that I got this disassembled, I'll give you guys a better look. So I just took the sponge filter itself, turned it on its side, and then this here, this is an uplift tube to just a regular sponge filter and it fits perfectly on there. So all this is is just an old fishnet. I doubled it up and then I pushed it in there. But when I sandwich this guy in there, it's nice and tight. So this, this is not coming off. And then just took a rubber band and made sure this was nice and tight. So this is nice and tight so that none of the eggs get trapped here on this rim. Because if this was loose, they would fall down into this rim. So we're gonna put those other two eggs back in here and then we'll go ahead and release those shrimplets. So we're just gonna take this off take off the cover and I'm gonna grab my little container if you have a pipette or a syringe you can syringe up the eggs so that's all I did to get them in there So I just was able to get those eggs in there. And then we take this, put it over our tank, and just release the water. Put the eggs in there and deposit them back in there. So now we got both eggs back inside. Time to put this thing back together so that way we can hatch these last two eggs. And they'll be okay out of water for a second. They're still wet because of that net that's in there. But suction cut. Sandwich this guy in there. And then we're gonna turn this this way. So now, in order to create flow here, the water is gonna get sucked into this guy. I took another little piece of net and shoved it in there as a flow restrictor. So now there's not gonna be a lot of water that comes into this side here. And suction cups hold it in place. Now I don't want the flow to be so high that these eggs get sucked up into that net. We just want it to be enough that they're suspended in the water and we can see that there's water movement because if the water flow is too high when the shrimplets are born they're going to get sucked into that net like like what happened and then they're going to just perish which we don't want and you know i thought that may be the case if it was too high of a flow i i felt like that <laughs> i felt the shrimplets were going to be 
a lot stronger swimmers and they were going to be able to outdo that flow. I didn't imagine that it was going to be too much for them. But you can see there, they're just suspended, floating in the water. And this is enough pressure to allow water to flow past them, that they're getting oxygenated. And then once they hatch, they can just stay right there or go down to the bottom. So I've been opening this up periodically to make sure that they're doing okay. And I've been taking out any dead eggs that are in there. Because if you leave the dead eggs in there, they can affect the good ones. You know, they can cause bacteria issues and fungus. And so you want to remove any of those dead eggs. So that's what I did this morning was I went in there to take those dead eggs out and found out that they were shrimplets and that they were you know, getting sucked up into that net. So I'm glad I was observing it as often as I was, because if they had all hatched, if I just left it for today, you know, that's five shrimplets in there that may have got sucked up into the net, who knows? I'm not 100% sure if that's the case. I'm pretty, pretty confident with how high the flow is that that's a possibility, but who knows? They could have hatched and just didn't make it and I didn't catch it in time, but definitely good to check on them periodically. So we're gonna let these guys do their thing and just by looking at them, it's gonna be a day or two. They're gonna hatch out pretty quick. I wouldn't be surprised if I wake up tomorrow and they're both hatched. So let's get these little guys into the tank though and let them do their thing. We'll uh, get these guys released so that way they can you know, go to the bottom of the tank and do their thing. Looks like you got four of them there. Uh, be free, little guy, be free. And they swim to the bottom right away. I'm going to rinse this out just in case I missed any. But out of the 15 or 20 eggs that I put in there, you know, to be able to hatch four of them, that's awesome. If I could save any of them, if I could save one of them, that's that's amazing. Like I said, it's gonna be a real short video, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and hopefully this will help you to save a buried female at some point. So definitely a good idea to have an egg tumbler and to be able to know how to separate those eggs, which separating the eggs was super easy. You just wanna be gentle with the needle and scrape the eggs off of her swimmerettes and make sure not to puncture any of them. So thank you guys so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, bye-bye, bye. -bye, bye.